Yo, what up guys, Sub here, the NBA every day. So last Thursday, the NFL kicked off with the Packers versus the Saints. Sunday and Monday had amazing games too, so in a nutshell, what I'm trying to say is the NBA this year is, well, the NBA, the NFL this year is going to be amazing. So I haven't been making NFL videos on this channel, mostly because I do not know how you guys feel on the topic. If you guys enjoy this video, if you guys comment, leave some great feedback and like it, you know, it'll definitely motivate me to make more NFL videos because this season is so far amazing. Because ultimately, it's up to you guys on what you guys want on this channel. So before I start with the main topic on this video, I just want to let you guys know that I got an HD PVR, as you guys can see right here. So expect some great gameplay coming up soon. So basically, let me give you guys some you know quick info on the Bears. 8, 1986, went to the Super Bowl, won. Walter Payton led us all the way. 2006, we actually went to the Super Bowl again, lost to the Colts. Devin Hester got the opening kickoff return touchdown, which basically made us go crazy. But after that, they just went downhill. Now, last year, the Bears basically screwed themselves up. All right, so the Bears made two idiotic mistakes last year, all right? Basically, if the Bears beat the Packers the game before the playoffs started, the Packers would not even been in the Super Bowl, all right? And they get another chance to verse them in the playoffs, yet they lose again, which basically made the Packers win the Super Bowl easily against uh, whoever the heck they versed, the Colts, the Steelers. All right, real talk. The Bears versus the Falcons last Sunday to start off the season, and the Bears played extremely well. So the final score was 30-12 to Chicago. The Bears played extremely well on the defensive side, as expected, but surprisingly, they played really well on the offensive side, too. So if they can keep that up, all I can see them doing is winning. Alright, so the Bears need five consistent players who have a consistent season. So number one is going to be Brian Erlacher. So this guy is basically the key to defense for the Bears. He's a team captain, and if he has a consistent season this year, the Bears are going to have an amazing defensive season. His mom recently passed away which basically made him miss practice for a couple of days, and he was questioning uh, for retirement. But he has bare pride, and he's going to be playing this Sunday against the Saints. So let's see how that works out. The number two is Robbie Gold. So he cannot get any better than he is now because this guy is straight up amazing at sh uh, hitting field goals. So if he can continue to do what he did last week, the weeks before that, well, there was no NFL, but the years before that, the years before that, you know, the Super Bowl year 2006, the Bears are going to have an amazing field goal season as they did almost every single year because of this guy's amazingness. So number three is going to be Matt Forte. This guy had an amazing game last week, and if he continues to, you know, put the team on his back, as you guys can say, Destroy the defense on the offensive side, run through all of them, score, get some big yardage, get some great third uh, third down plays. The Bears are going to have an amazing offensive season. Well, number four is not one player, it's a group of players. It's basically the offensive line. If the offensive line can step up their game, stop the defense, protect their quarterback, the Bears are going to have such an amazing season because their quarterback, who's going to be number five, Jay Cutler, he is such an amazing player, and, you know, he's so underrated because last year he had interception after interception after interception after interception after interception. I can keep on going, but last week this guy teared it up. Jay Cutler was so impressive to the Bears, and we were so proud of him. And if he continues to play like he did last week, if he continues to play with confidence, if the offensive line continues to support him, give him all the time he needs, he's a straight-up knockdown passer because this guy can pass almost 100 percent you know he might not be at Tom Brady's level right now but you know if you guys watched him before he went to the Bears he was a straight up stud and he knew how to pass the ball and the offensive line is to blame because he only has two seconds to pass the ball but the offensive line surprisingly did really well last week too gave him a good four to five seconds to pass the ball and that's all he needs to pass the ball to get an effective you know pass to win it to get a touchdown so that's basically all I wanted to touch on for the Bears. If you guys like this video, please comment and please like because it'll definitely motivate me to make more NFL videos. You know, if you guys want me to do another team such as I did the Bears today, if you guys want me to do the Packers, the Colts, the Steelers, any of those teams, let me know in the comments below. And finally, do you guys agree with me on this topic on the Bears? Do you guys think the Bears are worthy to make the Super Bowl this year? Let me know all the good stuff on the comments below. Finally, please comment, please like, please subscribe, please like my Facebook page, and please enjoy, guys. The NBA every day. Have a good one, guys.